You too. We got some news coming out of boxing. Adrian, the problem boner, aka about billions, aka the can man, anybody can get it, says that he is not done with the boxing with an Instagram post. Quote, God sent me a message and I see he isn't done with me. I've been doing things the wrong way and tarnishing all the blessing and chances he has given me. I've made my mind up and I am taking full advantage of this opportunity he is giving me today. I see everything more clear. I have a better understanding with myself. Quote, or the, the problem will be back soon. Now, this is AB coming off his loss against Blair Cobb on Friday, or he ended up getting injured. I think he tore his elbow up and a whole bunch of other things, right? Honestly, it's too little too late. It sounds like the boy who cried wolf. He's been saying this year after year after year for the past 11 plus years when he I, when he lost to marcos maidana people knew he wasn't focused if you go to his youtube channel he was too busy being on tour with lil wayne and and uh, ti trying to shoot dice and drinking and being with a whole bunch of women opening up for them then he goes up against Sean Porter, and he wasn't focused. And he ended up saying, man, you know, if I could just get back on track, I'm going to get back on track. When he lost to Mikey Garcia, he said the same thing. Then he gets blessed with an opportunity against Manny Pacquiao. Could you imagine if he beat Pacquiao where he would be at even after those losses? And he kept saying, I got the whole hood behind me. The hood support me. The hood support me. Goes out there, lays an egg against Manny Pacquiao. And then he, he doesn't really fight no more. And then he's only fought twice in the last five and a half years. AB is too little too late. I think it's over. Unless you sign with Tank and Tank puts up the bread. I mean, you're not with PBC no more. So, you know, Al Heyman to make on front the money. Don King is in his 90s and he looks like it's about the end of the road. And you're not going to pack the same venues like you used to. See, everybody has a turn. And you have to seize the opportunity when you have it. AB could have been the guy to make $50 million a fight. He had the charisma and everything that was included to put butts in the seats to where you got a group of people that love him, but more people that hate him, but they'll pay to watch him lose. But AB never took advantage of the talent and resources that he had. And the people have moved on. All you, you know, AB, your time was 10, was 10 years ago. You would have been hitting your peak now, passing the torch down to the, the youngest that's under you, the younger fighters that's under you. AB should have been that guy. But now you see Tank Davis, the Devin Haney's, the Ryan Garcia's, the Shakur Stevenson's, even uh, Carmel Moten, who, who's a uh, prospect coming up. These are the names you're starting to hear. You know, A.B., man, you part up, man, you the millennials, man, you with me. It's over, man. It's over. So maybe he can be getting into more business or I hope A.B. finds himself outside of boxing because I, I'm, but that was it, man. Blair Cobb, that was your last, that was your last real chance. You would have dominated against Blair Cobb. You could have worked your way back up, but man, people have, have given up on you. You know, people have wanted you to do it more than yourself and you see that all the time, even with basketball and football. You can't want things more than people want it for themselves. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about all of this. Tell me what y'all think.